I'm Thorsten. I'm part of the Microsoft HPC team uh, based here out of Germany. So I, I look into basically all the custom industries that we cover with our HPC and IE solutions. So the adoption of HPC in the cloud, that has really increased over the past couple of years. The majority of customers we've been talking to before moving into the cloud, they were basically limited by what they have installed on premises. And if they would require to suddenly scale up the infrastructure, they were basically forced into a time-intensive and very complex process just to purchase new infrastructure. By moving to the cloud, you then suddenly get access to infrastructure when you need it. So you can scale up, but you can also scale down. So when you don't need it for it. It's also about you get access to the infrastructure immediately, you get access to new technology immediately and when it's available to the market. And you get also different access to different flavors of infrastructure. Second, it's about agility. And more precisely, it's about agility in uncertain times we are in. With an increased amount of economic ambiguity, planning for our customers is very difficult. By moving to the cloud, you can scale the infrastructure you have up and down to uh, to when needed and when your business requires it. And I think the ability to do so, that is, for our customers, that's paramount. And finally, for us, it's also what we heard from our customers, it's the technology advantage. Um, so we've been working with our silicon partners on getting access to most recent technology when first to market. And so we provide a calling to our customers, whether it's CPUs and GPUs, and we connect them with uh, industry standards such as InfiniBand. This technology will be available when it's available to us and we make it available to our customers in a finger's name. So whether it's HPC or AI infrastructure, the motivation, the reason remains that Microsoft is the best place for HPC and AI workloads. And that is due to a number of facts. Uh, one of them is we have purpose-built infrastructure. So we built an infrastructure that is tailored for HPC workloads, but it's not just the infrastructure, it's the entire ecosystem. So you get access to an infrastructure that is entirely made for your HPC and AI workloads. Another key aspect is uh, we provide high-performance technology that enables our customers to do their real-world applications. So we have a consistent track record in demonstrating our performance leadership. And finally, we have the expertise. We have the partner network, we have the consultants internally in Microsoft, externally with our partners that can enable our customers to fulfill the journey by moving their HPC workloads and AI workloads into the cloud. So whether the customer is seeking for guidance, for any kind of help, so that we can be a part of their journey into the cloud, we have that expertise. And we're pretty proud of how we engage with our partners in various customer scenarios. And yeah, I'm very eager to have that conversation with any kind of customer and showing this is an expertise of proven track record HPC knowledge. If you're a customer looking for on how to get started with your AI workload in the cloud, so I have a few advices and considerations I'd like to share. Um, first of all, define your goals. Make clear objectives for what are you going to achieve with your AI models, with training your AI models. Become clear about the goals you want to achieve with that. Secondly, think about your data. Data is one of the key aspects for AI workloads. Think about where is your data today? Where is the data going to be tomorrow? What structure is the data you have? So data is, is a big story you need to be very much aware of. Third is then optimize for cost. So once you've got the first AI models trained, optimize the infrastructure. Leverage on what you just learned by training your AI models. Um, optimize by using, for instance, Microsoft Spot instances or by using preemptible VMs if that is allowed by your and possible by your AI workloads and by the model you're running. So then once you have learned about that, you can then introduce what you have just learned in optimizing the infrastructure and accordingly optimizing costs for running your AI models. And finally, and I mentioned that before for just for the pure HPC workload is 
seek for expertise. Leverage the knowledge that is available and the experience that we have with our own consultants, our data scientists, um, and with the entire partner ecosystem that we have. So seek for experience and for guidance. We can provide you with that. And once you have done that, I like to remember that moving an AI workload into the cloud, that is a journey. So reiterate on what you just learned, adopt your training model, adopt your whatever you have done differently or whatever you have done before so that you get best out of it and so you can solve the problems that you defined before in the shortest amount of time. Right, so what makes me tick working for Microsoft? Uh, I think that's an easy to answer question, even though I think it would be a very lengthy answer. But, but yeah, let me try. So I work with a very diverse team and I love that because we're a team that is spread across the planet uh, with various backgrounds, with sales attitudes, with tech attitudes, and we have one mission. The one mission is we work on behalf of our customers. It's also about the close relation I maintain with our engineering teams, with the entire field sales team organization, with our partner ecosystem, and we have this one particular mission that we want to have the success of our customers. But it's also about, and that is quite fascinating for me, is to see how Microsoft is taking the entire AI move seriously. I have never seen that before because we translate the AI move into a business. And we do this in such a short, of, a short, a short amount of time. I can see what those products come up with by accessing whether it's Copilot for coding or ChatGPT on Microsoft Azure's infrastructure. So yeah, that's uh, what I love while working for Microsoft. So I wake up in the morning and say, yeah, that ticks for me.